looking to master animal husbandry in medieval dynasty, then you're in the right place. Animal husbandry, or animal breeder specifically, is the profession that is assigned to villagers when taking care of farm animals. As you build your farming technology throughout your playthrough, you will start unlocking new farming animals that will contribute to your dynasty in more ways than one. And in this video, we're going to go over 10 tips to master farming animals in medieval dynasty. Tip 1 is about animal feed. Before we talk about animals, it's important to note that to keep all of your animals happy and alive, you're going to need animal feed. Animal feed can be placed in feeding troughs by you or your animal breeders, which in turn will allow them to keep producing various types of resources without starving to death. So kind of important. The recipe for animal feed is unlocked at 50 farming tech and can be crafted in a barn using one rye, one oat grain, and five straw. If you prefer to do so, you can also buy animal feed from many village vendors across the valley and the oxbow. But if you would rather make the feed yourself, I recommend making a dedicated field where you plant oats in the spring and rye in the autumn. Assuming you have animal feed in your resource storage, animal breeders aside to your animal pens will automatically fill troughs with animal feed, as well as passively produce resources faster than if you pick them up on your own. Tip 2 is going to be about chickens and geese. Starting with chickens, chickens are unlocked at 50 farming tech and can be purchased in Barvo or Ralnica on the valley map or Skalki on the Oxbow map once you have built a hen house. Production wise, chickens are still the best choice if you're looking to farm eggs. And while they can produce feathers, my general recommendation is to ignore feathers on chickens. Roosters currently cost 45 coins, hens cost 98 coins, and chicks cost 23 coins. Chickens mature around two seasons and have a lifespan of 5 to 6.25 years. Geese are unlocked at 500 tech points and can be purchased in Gustovia in the Valley or Piastovia in the Oxbow after building a goose house, costing 69 coins for a gander, 105 coins for a goose, and 23 coins for goslings. Similar to chickens, geese also produce both eggs and feathers, but they produce way more feathers than chickens. Eggs on the other hand are not produced at the rate of chickens, so my recommendation is to set your chickens to only eggs and geese to mostly feathers. Feel free to increase the feather production on geese if you don't need the eggs. Geese mature after two seasons and have an average span of 10 to 13 years. Tip three is about pigs. Pigs are unlocked at 100 tech points and can be purchased in Ralnica in the Valley or Klonitsa on the Oxbow if you have built a pigsty, costing 675 coins for mature pigs and 150 coins for piglets. The only things pigs produce for your village is manure, which can be turned into fertilizer in a barn. If you like farming a lot or want to start farming, odds are you're going to need a lot of fertilizer. And pigs will be your best bet when it comes to farming manure for fertilizer. Pigs mature at the age of 1 and have an average lifespan of 15 to 18 years. For tip 4, we'll be going over mounts in the game, so donkeys and horses. Donkeys are going to be your first obtainable mount and are unlocked at 250 tech points that can be purchased in Tukki in the Valley or Skalki in the Oxbow. Once you have built a donkey shelter, you can buy an adult donkey for 600 coins or a full for 405 coins. Donkeys are a faster method of traveling rather than on foot, and combined with saddlebags, have a better carrying capacity than horses, although they are slower in speed. In order to ride a donkey, you're going to need to buy a saddle and equip it onto your mount. You can increase mount carry capacity if you take the carrot and stick feet, or increase their movement speed by taking the night rider feet, both in the farming skill tree. There's also a feat in this skill tree called the village whistleblower, which allows you to call the last mount you mounted from anywhere in the map. Donkeys don't passively produce any resources, but they will leave a little manure on the ground in the donkey shelter that you can pick up. Donkeys mature after a year and a half and have an average lifespan of 25 to 32 years. Horses are unlocked at 2,000 tech points and can be purchased in Hornica in the Valley or Piastovia in the Oxbow after building a stable. Horses will cost you 4,350 coins for an adult or 3,525 coins for a foal. The horse traits are almost identical to a donkey aside from a few things. The first being that they are much faster than donkeys. Their main takeaway is that they can't hold as much as a donkey, so you may still want to use your donkey for resource gathering runs. As I said for traits, breeding, lifespan, and manual manure retrieval are the same as the donkey. Tip 5, we're going to go over sheep. At 2500 tech points, you will unlock the fold, which will allow you to buy two different animals, sheep and goats. I recommend having two separate folds if you'd like to have both animals, because it'll make it a bit easier for resource production. Sheep can be purchased in Branitsa in the Valley or Ostoya in the Oxbow, costing 1,260 coins for mature sheep and 300 coins for lambs. Sheep are a very valuable animal to have because you're able to harvest wool off of them, so long as you have shears which can be made in the smithy. If you use the sewing hut, you can produce wool into many different types of clothing which can be sold at a high price. Sheep mature after one year and have a lifespan of 10 to 13 years. Tip 6 is about goats and cows. 
Goats can be purchased in Denitsa in the Valley or Astoya on the Oxbow, costing 600 coins for female goats, 375 coins for male goats, and 75 coins for juvenile goats. Goats will produce milk so long as you have buckets, which can be used for food and some cooking recipes in the kitchen. Goats mature after one year and have an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. I've said it before and I'll say it again, goats aren't my favorite animal because they only have one thing they can produce and they're not even the best one at it. If you like goats or are in desperate need for milk, go ahead and pick up goats. But if not, I would just wait and pick up cows instead. Cows are unlocked at 3,500 tech points and can be purchased in Gestovia in the Valley or Piestovia on the Oxbow once you've built a cow shed. Cows cost 1,425 coins, bulls cost 1,359 coins, and calves cost 375 coins. Cows also produce milk way more quickly than goats if you have them set up correctly. Calves mature after two years of age and have a lifespan of 18 to 23 years. Tip seven is about the apiary. The apiary is unlocked at 5,000 tech points and gives you the ability to produce honeycomb. Honeycomb can be used as a food source or to produce meat in a tavern. The nice thing about the apiary is that you don't need to buy bees, they'll just naturally come. Additionally, the apiary is one of the better buildings to level your farming villagers. So if you're trying to level your farming villagers and you have an apiary, place your villagers here. Now that we've covered all of the obtainable farm animals, let's go over a few more general tips that will help you along the way to master animal husbandry. But first, if you found any of this information useful, consider paying the king's tax of one like or one sub. Thanks guys, back to the tips. Tip eight is about making some extra resources. If you have a working animal breeder and animals inside the same building, they will passively pick up resources and place them in either the resource storage, the food storage, or workplace chest if your storage places are full. But your animal breeders won't actually clean up after the animals. Because of this, you can actually gain some extra resources by picking up manure, eggs, feathers, and honey from the animal pens, as well as shearing sheep and milking goats or cows directly from the source. And while pigs are the only animal that passively produce manure, manure can actually be picked up from most of the animal sheds if you are desperately in need. Tip nine is about lifespan and breeding. When your animal reaches the end of their lifespan, you can sell them to gain a bit of extra coins that you wouldn't have gotten if they passed due to old age. Donkeys, horses, and cow babies will likely make you the most money in XP, so I recommend having at least one male and one female in this instance. Each animal has around 15-25% to chance to breed each season, assuming you have at least one male and one female. If you want your animals to breed a bit faster, having more males will increase their chance to breed each season, and some of these animals can have up to one to three babies. Tip 10 is about milk and eggs. Male chickens and geese will not produce you any eggs, and male goats and cows won't produce any milk. So once you've filled up these animal pens, consider harvesting or selling off any males you have if you have more than two, and restocking on females for extra resources. If you're looking to expand your knowledge in Medieval Dynasty even further, be sure to check out how to master managing your villagers right here. And if you haven't, consider checking out my other videos for more Medieval Dynasty content. Thanks for watching, and take care.